guys, welcome to a new video. Thanks for clicking to watch another video of mine. If you're new here, I'm April, I'm a cosmetic chemist, and I just chat all day about skincare and beauty. In today's video, as you guys can tell from the title, we're gonna be talking about vitamin C. Hopefully my shirt was a little giveaway to that. I'm gonna be talking about vitamin C for different skin types, oily skin, dry skin, sensitive skin, combination skin, and normal skin. If all this sounds good to you, consider hitting the subscribe button, like the video, and let's jump right in. I've done a pretty comprehensive video about vitamin C, and it's linked up here for you guys. It's a little bit of an older video, but I gave a lot more context about vitamin C and what it does for the skin and how best to get vitamin C. I did specify in that video that getting vitamin C from your diet is really, really imperative. Don't just count on skincare products. I'm gonna leave a brief summary right here of what vitamin C can do for your skin. A huge misconception is vitamin C trees have a pigmentation, which that is not the case at all. Vitamin C is great for brightening antioxidant properties. It really helps to brighten the skin, but it doesn't have a tyroxinase inhibitor, which a lot of the ingredients like kojic acid, hydroquinone have that helps to stop the process of melanogenesis. Just make sure you're not thinking this is going to take care of your dark spots and have a pigmentation. Each of these vitamin C serums I have thoroughly researched using my knowledge as a cosmetic chemist and the ingredients these are the vitamin C's I found in my opinion to work best for these skin types. There's definitely other options out there but these ones were the ones that stood out the most to me. First skin type I'm going to talk about today is oily skin. Oily skin can be annoying because it does produce a lot more oil than normal. It can lead to acne because you have excess sebum being produced in your skin and when using a product the best thing to do is not to use a product that has a lot of oil in it. Extracts or things like that you want something that at least is oil free and would not further add to the amount of oil that your skin is already naturally producing. A product I recommend in this category is La roche Posay's Vitamin C Serum. This product has a potent ascorbic acid. It also has hyaluronic acid to really help with moisturizing your skin and adding plump back into your skin. There's no oil, so it's not gonna add any extra oils to your skin. It's non comedogenic and it also has salicylic acid. And you guys know salicylic acid is a huge ingredient for oily skin because it goes into those pores and it clears up any clumps or clusters to prevent your skin from developing acne. And just to really overall exfoliates and refines your skin tone and texture. And if you are wanting to dosage of this vitamin C, there's 10% ascorbic acid in this. Next skin type is dry skin. Now this skin type is characterized by dullness, dryness, and lack of elasticity, especially when you're older, especially in those winter months when your skin already gets more dry it is so imperative to keep your skin hydrated also this skin type because of its characteristics producing less sebum than normal the skin barrier tends to get compromised because it gets really dry and potentially could let a lot of microorganisms that could potentially cause issues and irritation to your skin the product i recommend for this category is cerave's 10 percent vitamin c serum this product is lovely for dry skin because it has three ceramides which i've talked about multiple times on this page ceramides are pretty much what holds your skin cells together and without ceramides microorganisms can get in and your skin Skin suffers which can lead to long-term or short-term irritation and this product has three ceramides which I've talked about many times on this page it has ceramide and PAP and EOP and these ceramides are naturally found in the skin so this product having these ingredients is very complementary because your skin instantly recognizes it and it really really helps to start to repair that skin barrier there's also hyaluronic acid to really juice up the skin add a lot of hydration and attract more moisture into the skin there's also glycerin another great humectant as well as dimethicone which is a great occlusive to really help seal in that moisture into the skin and plus it's very budget friendly and y'all know this economy listen if i can help you save a dollar somewhere then this is a product for that next skin type combination skin now this one is pretty tough because you have both dry and oily skin you're mostly going to be oily in your t-zone and dry around your u-zone so this area down here which can be really tough and difficult and annoying because let's be real okay this skin type is not very desirable because now you're dealing with two skin types but with the right ingredient you can balance both skin types on your skin product i recommend for this one is naturium's vitamin c super serum this one is packed are you guys ready it has glutathione the for brightening salicylic acid for unclogging those pores, retinol for retexturizing your skin, especially those dry areas, niacinamide for oil control and for brightening hyperpigmentation, and hyaluronic acid to plump back the skin, especially those dry areas, and for the oily areas, salicylic acid, like I mentioned earlier. So, this product is really well balanced. It has all the ingredients that are really required for the two skin types that you have in your skin. I mean, the reviews we're reviewing, and from my perspective as a chemist, you can't go wrong. All right, sensitive skin. Now, this one is a little tricky because I know this skin type can be pretty annoying to deal with because you can get contact irritation from a lot of products so you have to be really careful my logic behind this one is a product that was fragrance free and for this one i recommend may loves 15 glow maker vitamin c serum this one like i said is unscented there's no fragrance because fragrances a lot of the times can be allergens to the skin it can cause a lot of irritation so this one is unscented it has potent ellascopic acids for this brightening effects it has vitamin c e and ferulic acid and one thing about ferulic acid and vitamin e they really help to boost the antioxidant properties of the vitamin c so this is a great one because it'll hydrate your skin as well as leave your skin with no irritation. There's a reason why it's popular and called 
the dupe quote unquote for CE Ferulic. And last skin type, normal skin. You guys are just freaking lucky. This skin type is, ooh, isn't it everyone's dream that nothing irritates your skin? You can just go out and do whatever you want and your skin is always gonna be in tip top shape. Listen, we're all striving to get like you guys. That's why I'm recommending Timeless 20% Vitamin C Serum. Now this product is really similar to the last product I talked about with uh, sensitive skin, but this one has 20%, which is a pretty high dosage for vitamin C. But you all have an optimum skin type that can tolerate this 20%, so I'm not afraid to recommend this 20%. It has the potent l ascorbic acid, it has vitamin E, ferulic acid, and hyaluronic acid to really give you that well-balanced formulation where the vitamin C is boosted by these ingredients so you really can't go wrong with this. Now y'all better go on with your bad self. And that's it. That's all the products I recommend for all these different skin types. Let me know below in the comments what your skin type is and what vitamin C serum you're loving for your skin. I would love to know that in the comment section below. I personally love so many different vitamin C's for so many different reasons. It really depends on how my skin is acting and how my skin is really just showing up if it's dry, if it's more oily, if it's more acne prone, I would choose a vitamin C that works in that order. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please show me support by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!